driving along, minding my own business, and all of a sudden it's like, no, you cannot pass. Ah, and then I'm like, yes, I can. Watch me do it. They try to stop me. Oh, guess what? Uh-oh, that's the worst one so far. Hey guys, what's up today? Welcome to another new day on the Daily Random Vlog. Batteries are charging. Craig is here. This is my new persona. Your new persona, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I guess he feels he needed a new persona. So today, we are going trail bound, we thinks. Right? Yes. Yeah? Well, it's Saturday. It's not bad. It's almost plus 10 outside right now. Almost plus 10. Approaching the end of February. Yeah. I can live with that. I can live with that. <laughs> uh, guest is still down. I'm in the middle of the axle rebuild. I would have had the second axle. I did one last night. Would have had the second axle rebuilt today. But I want to be able to sit and film it and show you guys what it looks like on the inside of those axles. It's a bit different. So later on we'll get to that. I'll film it later. For now, we're gonna go out. We'll take turns. Uh, we'll just take turns driving the deadbolt for now. You want to drive the deadbolt for now? I do want to drive the deadbolt today. Yeah, right on. Two more days to go. You'll have your own rig. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. Right on. And you know we'll be showing you guys that there's been a change of plans as to what truck he's getting. I mean, I showed these guys. I thought I thought he was dedicated to getting that white rig. But something different came up that's a lot closer than what he was. It was going to be like a two and a half hour drive. Pretty much yeah. from where we live down to Milton, which is the greater Toronto area. It would have been at least a five hour day. Yeah. At least. So on the alternative, we're going to be supporting some local business. And it's going to be built by somebody who really knows his trucks. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll just beep that out right there because that's supposed to be, shh, that's the secret. Can't tell the vlog just yet. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. I understand. I, I get it. I got this, bro. I got <laughs> this. Okay, so it isn't like warm, warm today, but it's definitely not cold. At my new house. There you go. <laughs> new home. No, just kidding. We built it ourselves. <laughs> Dan Patterson's. This is uh, where we launched the canoes from when we go down to our site. A couple of months away. Yeah, I'm not even. Yeah. I, we've got solar flares and all that lovely stuff right now, so it's warm. I'm just hoping it stays warm. The river's right there. Yeah, we're going to go check it out. That's some good standing mud right there. That's like that sandy mud. I hope it's not that sinky mud. Yeah. But have a look, the creek's actually flown along pretty good. Yeah. Right down in here is where we usually put the canoes in. We'll go down and have a look. Yeah, so that whole bank right there has grown, filled in with all this mud and sand deposit. I don't think it was that big last year. I might be wrong though. Look at that, where the current's flowing around the bridge base. I'd so hit this with the canoe. Oh yeah. I would so hit this. We know this creek good enough to say we can get down to where our campsite is sure. and no problem at all. It would probably take like two minutes with this kind of flow. We might miss it. And at this depth, you're not going to hit anything. But it's going from the campsite back to Dalewood, getting through that tunnel at Ron McNeil. We uh. might miss the campsite. We might miss the spot where we're supposed to stop. Yeah. <laughs>
on the branch. <laughs> Oh, I see it. It's not a branch. That's a nipple wire right there. Right there. Oh. Wow, that's aggro. wrapping around my axle right now. Hang on. A little extra prep work is needed. <laughs> so I don't snap an axle. Okay, it's free. That was what, right? Right here, right? Sure, ish. Okay. what it's all about. Those weeds are not helping me out at all. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so there's the Dan Patterson trail, which we will actually trail one day. But today, Craig wants to keep it simple. He wants to walk on the road. We're here. We're gonna go to here, which is just down the road. Yeah, and there's something to see down there, apparently. This is all man-made ponds back here, and there's a little observation deck here, and there's a little observation deck here. But I never knew about all yeah, these, these trails all back trails here. Yeah, these trails through there, so it may be interesting just to scout it out today, and then when you have, when you have your truck, we'll come back and check yep. this out. But just so everyone knows, this is Highbury Ave going towards, this way is towards London, this way towards St. Thomas. And Dan Patterson's where my little cabin doohickey is here. We'll just float that down to our campsite. Yep. Sign says go that way. Go that way. We're kind of prone to following arrows. <laughs> hmm. Another sign. Oh, hey, that almost looks like a one of those stands where you stand and run your trucks at an RC track. Yeah. But it's got a cool bridge and everything right here. And hey, look, Matt Vander, Vander, there is actually a nice, good creek that you have yet to run through yet out here. Yep. And this is nice. This is really nice. I like this. It's kind of high right now. There's well, the trickle, yeah, everything's been flooded. But I mean, there's a decent crawl. We've actually been seeing along the, the walk back in here, hill climbs, one hill climb that's like super long, super tall. And we could do a comp where you have to stand at the base of the hill. You can't cross the front two trees or something. And you can see your truck the whole way up, have, have somebody few, up at the top. We have a few cameras set up all the way up the hill. So Maybe you gates get... that you have to zigzag through or something, but it's that kind of hill, it's awesome. We're gonna keep going on through, recording bits and pieces here and there, and yeah, we'll just, I'll vlog. I'll vlog. You camera, I'll vlog. Oh, this is like a cake bar right there. <laughs> okay, then we okay. come over there. I'm not 
not the water bug of the group, so I don't want to get right deep in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They're not cheap. <laughs> So here's these man-made lake area, a bit flooded out too. This is conservation recreation. Yeah. Interesting. So we're on we're on that platform, the observation platform. There's that little bridge. And I'm guessing we're which way we're we gonna go. Is it both kind of flooded in either direction? Um well the trail the trail thing says it goes back up over that way where the heck out that way. We'll do what but, we can. Yeah. Really gushy out here. Even this little walkway boardwalk path, it's got flow coming, like a lot of water flow coming right out from underneath it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're adventuring today. This is more of an, is it an exploring RC vlog? RC exploration. Yeah. <laughs> Mini waterfall. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Look, you can hear it underneath all the hair. Oh, he's gonna go. Oh, by the way, guys, Craig's driving right now. Oh, don't that. No, you're obviously against something. Enough. Reposition. You gotta watch little twigs and some stuff can really stop you. Just annoyingly stop you for no reason at all. Try it again. Oh, bad camera work on my behalf right there. Sorry, he's moving too quickly too. Look at this mud. This is mud. Ready? Oh, that's oh. Not so bad. Okay, right there. mush it up. I'll come back to the other spot. Right here. If you mix all that up, it'll get really gushy. Like this is totally the spot for a mud a mud crawl. <laughs> it's a running river right through it. <laughs> Hell yeah! Keep going, you're moving. You're moving. Nice. It's not about just mashing it. Sometimes yeah. It's just the right mixture of wheel speed and then no all. Oh. Just like in real life. If you've ever seen in real life or watch it on YouTube, it's the same, exactly the same principle. You can't just go in there and force, you're just gonna sink. Driving along, minding my own business, and all of a sudden it's like, no, you cannot pass. Ah. And then I'm like, yes, I can. Watch me do it. They try to stop me. Oh, guess what? Uh oh, that's the worst one so far. <laughs> no problem, you can do it. I won't back out of it, but it's behind my pumpkin now. Turn around. Yeah, you're moving. You got this. Well, it's all about control. Oh, I don't know, man. Look it, you got it. It's not about full throttle, right? about controlling that throttle and the wheel direction and everything. Look at that. 
<laughs> oh, I'm in low power mode. Ooh, that sounds that? rudy. <laughs> yeah, I got stuff wrapping around my axles in here, but it's not that bad. Oh, I don't think. Oh, but that would be a good spot to turn around and face forward and go through. No, I only get stuck at this time. Okay, well, hang on. Okay. There is a rescue plan. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, just you, when you think you find a solid spot. You got this. What do you do when you're in the middle of a swamp in real let life? Me, let me think about this for a second. You have a you have a land anchor. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A land anchor. They just throw it out there and, and hope, hope it, it grabs something. something. Yeah, there might not be enough winch line. No, it oh, hit the end of the spool. Yes. So I'm gonna pull it forward a little bit. No, 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 no. Um, can you stand over that way? Um. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No wonder I was getting stuck. Or just hang on to it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wait, I got it. Okay. Oh Don't fall over. <laughs> Truck's depending on you to be stable. There's no point in giving her a ton of wheel speed right now. But at least give it the help, right? Yeah. Take some of the load off of it. I bet you you could do do it if you're facing forward. Going through there. <laughs> okay, take the wench off your off your lace. I'll let it out some so you can hook her back up top. I think I can get out of here from here. Or are you gonna wench it again? I might wench it again. You can probably do it, but that sinkhole I just created right in front of you might be a problem. All right. Look at my boots, yo. Yeah, he's got brown boots now. And uh, mine aren't, aren't so bad today. And they're but only the... like that because my pants. Oh, man. This truck weighs a ton right now. <laughs> That's oh. some good mud. That's the stuff you've been looking for. Yeah, I think we found a good mud hole, boys. At least I'll for a little while. There. So if any, any, hang on. If any of you RC addicts out there really want to come and find a good mud bog, come pick me up. I'll show you where the good mud bog is. Oh, this, yeah. this is insane. But it's awesome. In St. Thomas. Yeah, well, no, actually, it's outside St. Thomas. Okay, on with the Explorer. Oh, look, another arrow. So that's pointing back where we come from. We're gonna go that way. <laughs> There's a trail. There, we found us some high ground. Up and out of the water, feet can dry up a little bit. This is a trail I don't think I've ever hiked before. No, I don't think I've ever been down here myself. It's, he's out of a lot of breath. <laughs> Big hill. But, um, oh yeah, more water, what a surprise. Uh, Up here, there's more water. Um, we, as you can see down in that gully, that's about how high we just climbed up, but it's a trail coming up. Now you can see why I'm out of breath. <laughs> and it, it follows uh, the crest of this gully around and back to the beginning. So we're gonna hike this part. Hopefully gets us out of the water a little bit. I don't know. We're gonna try it though. There might be some spot back there to build an off-road trail back there. Oh yeah, I built a little hut. <laughs> what are we building huts? Would you have a look at the size, the drop, the valley right here? That's Kettle Creek down there. I'll have to look this up on Google Map to see what part of it it really is. Mm -hmm. But you guys wanna see something really random? What's that say? <laughs> I've never been out here before. Somebody carved Andrew's property. Well, thanks guys. I got a great view. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is nice. Look at it, you can build a little hobbit hole down there. 
That's a heck of a drop. I actually said to Craig while he's driving the truck up, stop, don't drive the truck down there. I don't want no. you rolling it down into the creek. So I'll just keep going. Oh man, that's a long way down. And you know, I wish Kettle Creek was always at that height because this that would be paddleable if there wasn't a ton of current right now. But yeah. by the time it's back to normal, that is not really... People have tried and they said it's not worth it. Okay, onward with the journey. Okay, so we are obviously going a different way, a different, this path is going a different way than we thought it was gonna, because we just come down this fork from that away, and we didn't go up that away. So coming back is this away. We'll figure it out. We're not lost, we're just figuring it out. This big random hunk of rock out in the middle of nowhere. They are out throughout this dirt. You don't see them because they're under the dirt. But there's not a lot of them. So it's kind of rare when you see a big one sticking up like that. I mean, obviously, look in all this area where I'm pointing the camera and you don't see them. Look at the pines over there. It's not even rolled over time because it's still jagged and sharp. So it's not like it just came from... Up there isn't even ha up there. It's flat, so it didn't come from up there. It came from are you somewhere else. Are you some kind of geologist now? Kind of, because my dad <laughs> taught me some stuff. I know. Did check that tree out. It's a neat looking tree. Nar nar. All the, the way, way up. up there too. That's all gnarly all the way up. I'm kind of scared standing underneath it. There's a lot of widow makers there. It's a cool tree though. Don't touch it. And just a random teepee shelter. Hmm. Kind of bare glitchy. Random rock. Aha. Another arrow. And in the distance, some kind of weird looking arrows. Yeah, I don't know if I trust those ones. Okay, so that's not part of Kettle Creek. But it's just a massive uh, low-lying flood area and definitely not the trail that we'll be taking. You want to cross? You could probably make it, but... You want to cross? No. <laughs> I don't want to cross. Look at this nice and gnarly climb here, though, if yeah, you actually sure. wanted to. I'm trying to conserve a little bit of battery life on the poor little deadbolt because I only brought one battery. Even crawling up the moss area right here. Yeah. Wow, I don't want to, I don't want to disturb the lichen. True. Moss, lichen. Okay, so there's an arrow. It is telling us to go that way. Yeah, so. and then there's those funky, weird, confusing arrows, and then there's another set of arrows past that. So I guess when we're going that way, I mean, when you look that way, you don't see any arrows. It's yeah. not very comforting. So we're going to follow the arrows today. I think this is a cross-country trail. Uh, this cross country skiing trail? Maybe. It's really flat. Well, or just a simple. It's hike. really wet. It's like a water skiing trail. <laughs> right there. Another random boulder. I like that boulder. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Oh, I'm not going through that again. I don't have the battery life for it. Right. You always do that, right, when I hit record. Sure. Here's the trail we went up. We just came back out that way. That was fun. Yep. Maybe you could even see the but dead we bolts driving the through there. Right there. Yeah, I know, we were way up there. That's a big hill. But... Being athletic. <gasps> yeah, sometimes you want to have the fun. You gotta, you gotta hustle. You wanna you wanna get out there, you wanna do it, you gotta hustle. Right. Fun. This is work fun. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go the deep route this time. You ready? Oh yeah. Nice. Nice.
Well, so far that was a pretty good little hike. I really enjoy this area. Craig was just saying he thinks this is where he wants to do his uh, run. his maiden trail run with his new truck that he'll be getting there. Still not saying from where or from who, but it's going to be a special truck. Unless we already said where. I don't think we did. No. No. No, because you uh, blocked <laughs> it out. So we're going to just wake our way back out of here. We've already seen excellent hill climb spots, lots of root covered spots, lots of rock crawl spots. This is going to be a good area right here. My nose is running now too, so we'll, we'll catch up back at the nice warm house. It's not cold, it's just nose runny weather. It's kind of late, but I know if I get her a Timmy's, she'll be fine. Oh, I could go for a Timmy's for sure. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I think it's wide enough that I can do this without getting my pumpkin hung up. Okay. And then down wheels. off the end. Ah, I did say I was going to get my wheels off the end. Yeah, I'm letting Craig do a bit of driving today, guys, because he's going to have his truck soon. Plus, guest was built for this purpose, for letting people get experience. Get some a little uh, ahead of time experience before you get your own truck. And because Guest is kind of being buggered right now, you get to drive the gecko. Go ahead. I'm going to follow you up, sort of. Sort of. But keep it in frame. Oh my god, guys, I'm having so much trouble. Thing? No, keep going, keep going. Okay. So much trouble keeping things in frame oh, today. I'm going to run into trouble when I get to that route. Yeah. So. See if I can see it from here. Oh, I got a tree in the way. Oh. Yeah, it is in low power mode right now, so don't expect a lot of wheel speed out of her or nothing like that. I keep calling it a her. Mondo Gecko, I think, was supposed to be a boy gecko, skater, surfer, frog thing. <laughs> Everybody's probably thinking, what the heck is he talking about? Oh, oh, oh. Now you get to walk up and flip it over. Alright. <laughs> You're doing something up there. Why are you sitting? Are you that old? No, I want to be on the shot. <laughs> I'm ready? such a nice brother. Yeah, I'm recording already. Such That's a nice brother. Cool. Sitting because he's old. Ah! Oh, so maybe if you start from here following these arrows, there's a path to be taken. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Because we only seen this arrow right here, or one of these, but we've seen a million of these guys. You want to see something else? And you were saying, yeah, no power of that. Uh, it might not be turned on from the junction box that would be over there. Oh, yeah. But you were saying on the trail, Craig pointed out, maybe this was the uh, cross-country skiing, right? Maybe they're out there, you follow these for the cross-country skiing routes, and that would be just your all-year-round hiking trail marker. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe there are a couple signs. <laughs> Well, that is an awesome time getting out, hitting the trails with the brother. And you know, it's quite therapeutic. It is to actually get out there with a, a good solid friend and talk about life matters and what's going on, the things on your mind and just having a blast, laughing at silly stuff, walking through ankle deep mud. Good job, by the way, Craig, you didn't lose a boot the whole time. And like he was ankle deep in the mud at points just to help me get the shot or help get the truck unstuck. Wait till we got both trucks out there, Craig. Oh my God, that area we found today, that is just uncanny. It's going to be a great RC zone. Anyhow, it took a little bit to get the mud off the truck. Have a look. Oh my goodness. 
And it's not clean by any means, but I got all the major mud off of it. I think I think the deadbolt is actually overdue for a thorough cleaning. I might pull the lockouts off the back, pull the axle pieces out and the bearings, clean them up really good. Maybe if I feel ambitious, do the front too, but they really do need a thorough cleanup. Tires are all nice and clean though. Fun times. As well, I wanted to be able to show you guys whoosh, down to this end. That's right. Uh, at least the tear down of this and putting it back together. But like I said, I'm trying not to kill you guys with long vlogs again. So if I decide to get at this tonight, I am going to video it and I'll throw it in tomorrow's vlog just so you get to see what it looks like inside of a worm axle. From I'd say here out, it's pretty normal, but it's inside here where the magic happens. And yeah, just to kind of let you know, I did do that one. That's why it's so clean. And uh, when I put it back together, I put some diff fluid in, sealed it to the best of my ability. It's not sealed by any means, but it might help keep the temperature down. Maybe it won't heat up as much. And then this one here, they were like they were both getting heat to them. So I'm hoping maybe this might help. And if you are experienced with worm axles, let me know. With the heat being generated in these cause extra friction, causing this truck to become immobile. Literally, it won't roll forward. You could go backwards, no problem at all. But forward, no, not so much. Another theory that was put forward, what if these axles were apart, had both ends off, and they had been switched, so the rear axle reassembled it as a front, and the front end axle reassembled it as a rear, would the rotation be different and would that cause a problem? Let me know in the comments section below if you can answer that because I'm curious, would that be would that be a potential problem for us? As for the vlog tonight though guys, I am gonna call it quits early so I can get the edit done early. It was a late post today. I didn't really share the, the vlog a whole lot. It's just, I don't know. I know that those of you who are subscribed and who have the notification clicked, you will have seen the notification and the video will be there available for you I just wonder if maybe there's some of you who might have missed the video because I didn't share it all throughout Facebook and reddit and the RC Sparks forum not to be confused with the RC Sparks Facebook the actual forum but as for tonight thanks for watching guys I appreciate your time and support it is a rare and valuable commodity and I'm glad that you take the time to share your time with me yeah that sounded good please if you're not subscribe if you're not already subscribed like if you like the video and share if you're into that kind of thing and share the heck out of it wherever you can think an rc vlog should be shared so again thanks for watching you got to think positive if you want to stay positive throw on some music that helps too we'll see you guys tomorrow keep a smile on your face we'll see you right here good night vlog over